Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happened? They done done it again. They done blew up gate number five. Where's the ditch rider? They couldn't find him, Oscar Conway. He done blowed up with it. How big is the break? Powerful big. The water's pulled over everything. You call your father at the dam. I'll phone the sheriff. Hello. Yes, Mary. What? I'll get right down there. Gate 5 has just been dynamited. Call Sam at the construction camp. Tell him to hurry men and timbers. Put those timbers back on the train. Gate 5 has been blown up. So it's Gate 5 this time, eh? And a ditch rider along with it. There's somebody that won't even stop at murder to keep us from finishing the canal. I'd like to get me two hands on the dirty scoundrels. So would I. Let go, Mike. All right. All along, everybody, all along. And you didn't see anybody riding away from there? No, sir, Chef, nobody. But dynamite doesn't explode by itself. Somebody's setting it off. But why would anyone in this country want to keep the canals from being built? That water is our lifeblood. I'll go out and have a look over the ground. Sooner or later, they'll leave a clue behind. Something's got to be done, Steve. Dad and all the other ranchers, everything they own is invested in this project. If it fails now... I won't let it fail. Not when it means that much to you. handling cattle, this wouldn't have happened. I guess you're right. Hey, Dean, I bet you threw that baby quick in your world record at the rodeo last year. You'll put the animal back in the corral and come to the office. I'll give you your check. Now I know what was in this steer's mind. I bet he wanted to be delivered to you personally. And I don't blame him. Put a rope on him, Frog, and take him back to the corral. Haven't you heard? Water shut off while the repair of the dynamited gate. There goes a whole season's crop. I'm sure sorry, eh? Hey? Well, just another one of those things, I guess. We're doing our best to put water on your land. But when our men are killed and our gates destroyed, how can we help it? I'll tell you how. You put a man on that job instead of that darn fool that can't even take care of himself. Wise men in the valley who will protect our crops and property. Very well, gentlemen. Which of you is the man? I suppose you're willing to take the job. Why, I've got my own place to look after. So have I. You know I'm married and got a family. You're not married. Well, no. But I'm keeping company. Well, gentlemen, it's up to you. <clears throat> Never mind, Mother. We'll make out somehow. What do you want? I'd like to pick up a check for that beef we delivered today. We'll settle with Mr. Autry the next time he's in town. It's me. I'm Mr. Autry. Pay him, please. Oh, hello. Got that steer back, and here's the slip to prove it. You sent for me, boss? There's been another explosion, Bull. Any dynamite missing from the warehouse? Nope. Not a bit. Here's your check, Mr. Autry. Here's your beat, Kelly, ma'am. 
Fifty even. Counting the one that tried to get friendly. I hope you'll enjoy your ride back to the ranch. I reckon the ranch will have to be doing without me for a while. I was figuring on asking you for that ditch rider's job. Isn't it still open? Why? Why, yes, but... What's the uh... matter with the job you've done? Nothing. I just thought I'd like this one better. But you don't understand what ditch riding means. Five men have been killed. And if you take my advice... That's good advice, Jean. Let's get out of here. Do I get the job or don't I? Well, I'm not so sure you can hold it. That's a man-sized job, Audrey. Meaning, I guess, that it's too big for you. Suppose Bull here was a rancher who wanted more water than his share in the company entitled him to. Well, I wouldn't let him have it. Well, what if I took it anyway and started pushing you around like this? Why, I'd just... That's what i do. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we do. Hold on, Bull. You ask the gentleman what he'd do. He's showing us that he's the man for the job and he's entitled to it, isn't he? I, uh, sure. Report here at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'll be here. Boy, that was sure as well, Holgy. How'd you do that? Boy, that was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I got a bone to pick with that guy. You watch me. This is going to be good. Why don't you look where you're going? I didn't mean to get in your way. Oh, you want to argue, huh? I'm, I'm sure sorry. You want to get tough with me? Hmm? You never do it, boy. Hey, you quit twist my arm. Show me around. been killed. Another construction accident. They're supposed to be unavoidable, you know. That wasn't. And I'm going to give Bull a piece of my mind when I check up with him. He deserves it. And while you're doing that, I'll go over and inspect the big gate. I'll meet you later and you can see me home. Swell. If I'd known that was part of my duties, I'd taken the job for nothing. <laughs> You're telling me. Who's the man on the pinto? I didn't see anyone, but I thought I heard a shot. No. That was the splash I made when I fell in. <laughs> I told you ditch riding was dangerous. Nothing's happened so far, but it might have a chill. Then we'd better hurry back. It'll be dark by the time we get to town.
What's the idea? I thought it was seeing you home. There's no rest for the boss's daughter. She still has work to do. You make me feel guilty. It was mighty nice of you to waste too much of your time on it. Oh, but it wasn't wasted. I never had a more enjoyable day. Good night. Good night. Hello, Steve. Where were you? Mm, just helping Mr. Autry get acquainted with his job. You ought to be pretty well acquainted by this time. Your father just phoned again. He said he wanted you to bring him his reports. Thanks. We were worried about you. You ought to know I can take care of myself. So can that ditch rider without any help from you. I wish you wouldn't talk that way, Steve. You have no right to criticize me.
escape. I don't even want to huddle. If I'm going to bet you this rider out of your frog. Not me, you don't. All right, then, if you're afraid. Oh, is that so? Well, I'm not afraid of anything. in Red River to see you, where would you go? I'd go to the saloon. Well, that's where we're going. From this valley they say you are going. I will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. For they say you are taking the sunshine that has brightened our path all the while. Do you think of the valley you're leaving? Oh, how lonely and dreary it will be. Do you think of the fond heart you're breaking And the sadness you cast over me Come and sit by my side if you love me Do not hasten to bid me adieu but remember the Red River Valley And the cowboy who loves you so true Have other time, fellas. Rob's got a little number all wrapped up here for you. I used to call my cows with a whistle. I used to call my dog with a horn. Harmonica's the thing to wake the chicken. Let the rooster sleep late at morn. I used to have a swell calling system. I blew till I run out of breath. A hillbilly band from the city run all of my animals. The death. Fetch me down my shooting line, I'm going hunting. Fetch me down my trusty 45. See the fire in my eye, watch the smoke when I go by. Fetch me down my trusty 45. They had a guy that played the Ackham Bucky. Another fella played the sax of flea. I never in all my days seen the gadgets. Them hillbilly fellers played for me. 
Now one had a funny sounding thinker. Looks like he beat off his ear. They might like that noise in the city, but you ain't a gonna play it here. It's me. Down my shooting line, I'm going hunting. Fetch me down my trusty 45. See the fire in my eye. Watch the smoke when I go by. Fetch me down my trusty 45. Fetch me down my shooting line, I'm going hunting. Fetch me down my trusty 45. See the fire in my eye, watch the smoke when I go by, fetch me down my trusty 45. See those horses? They're heading for the job to report to Bull that you're still alive. Yeah, and when the gold bull's going to tell them to hustle back to the gate number nine and get rid of the evidence. Trouble. Don't shoot to kill. I'll ask him a few questions. Come on, get on your horse. So you're sure you weren't out there looking for the dynamite that was planted in the gate? I've been telling you, we don't know nothing about it. Then why did you run away just because you heard a horse winning? We thought it was a holdup. What do you make of it, Ed? So far, there's no case against them. But they were looking for the dynamite. And they both rode pinto horses like the man that shot at me. You just supposed they were looking for the dynamite. And there's plenty of pintos in this country. They might be guilty, but you haven't given me enough evidence to hold them on. Well, that being the case, then we'll mosey along. You bet you will, and we'll start you on your way. See that you don't come back. Come on. Oh, I've got to hide out. We want to know where it is. Well, anyway, you tried to clear up the cause of these explosions. Yes, better luck next time. It was luck enough for one day that nothing worse happened. They were guilty, Mr. Baxter. And they're working for someone else. Now, who do you suppose it could be that don't want you to complete this project? Shuffle them. 
sheriff's going to pick Weezer. Well, sure he is, but then him won't get back to payroll. What's the job? Watch the rear. They're going out that way. All right, fellas, let's go down there. Got rid of them. There's only one way to square ourselves, and that's to recover that payroll. You bet. That's all. We don't even know who took it, but we do. Remember those two fellows you followed that day? That's right. They must have stolen while Bull was keeping us busy fighting. Where'd they go? You ride all day across those sand dunes till you're almost dying of thirst. Then you come to an old prison that used to be a fort. Then they got you. Maybe yes, maybe no. We're going to find out who's going to get who. Like Bullhorn. I had a hunch we'd find him in on the payoff. Well, if he's in on his friend Conway is too. There's somebody bigger than Conway behind all this. I think my hunch is right. Who? That's what we're going to find out right now. Ten times more than we were promised for doing the job. Meaning uh... just what you think. Sure, we did all the work. We ought to get all of it. You get in here and do what I told you. Circle around the building, come in the other side. <laughs> there she is. Now we'll hot put it out of the country.
get out. What are you going to do? That depends on how bad my partner's hurt. Pick him up. I'll call a meeting of the board of directors and see what can be done for you. But there isn't time for that. The men are out of hand right now. I'm sorry, but my first duty is to my bank and to my depositors. Good day, gentlemen.
again, huh? Well, we ain't waiting this time. I'll be back soon. Now, Boo, you walk ahead of me. Barry, come on, get in here quick. Jean's coming across the dam with a payroll. All the saints be freed. I'll tell the men, stop this fighting.
This project will put Red River Valley as one of the richest farming lands in the world. Three cheers for Red River Valley. Well, I never thought I'd be an engineer to a bunch of havens. <laughs> May the ghosts of my ancestors be looking the other way. All right. <laughs> Get up there. As we go on our honeymoon journey, we will never forget Wow. 